Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. In this video, I am going to talk about double immunodiffusion. Immunodiffusion is a technique which is used for the detection or you can say measurement of antigens and antibodies by their precipitation. The method make use of diffusion that occur through a substance usually agar or agarogen. Or simply, it can be said the method denotes precipitation in general. Now, what about double immunodiffusion? So, it's a kind of immunodiffusion technique where both the antigen and the antibody diffuse towards each other and results in lattice formation and ultimately precipitation. This method is more commonly known as Archer Learning Double Diffusion. Principle of Double Immunodiffusion As we know, Double immunodiffusion is a type of precipitation reaction. That means it is based on the principle of precipitant curve. And the principle of precipitant curve states that interactions of antigen and antibody with each other form visible cross-linked precipitates whenever the proper ratio of antigen to antibody is present. So in this method, both antigen and antibodies are placed in wells made on the gel plates. On incubation, both antigen and the antibodies diffuse out from the wells. When they meet and interact together, they form a visible immune complex that gets precipitated to produce a thin white precipitin line. To get into the concept deeply, you must understand the precipitation curve diagram also. The diagram here shows the nature and pattern of precipitation curve depending upon the amount of antigen and antibody are interacting with each other at a time. On the x-axis, we have amount of antigen added and the y-axis denotes amount of antibody precipitated. So the portion number 1 corresponds to prozone, that is, antibody is in excess as compared to antigen. The part in the diagram numbered as 3 denotes post zone and this refers to the opposite of the 1 that is antigen is in excess as compared to antibody. In between these two zones we have zone number 2. This specific area shows that the amount of antigen is equal to the amount of antibody and this is called as zone of equivalence. And remember one thing here, prozone and postzone phenomena are negative reactions. Procedure of double immunodiffusion. First of all, agarose gel is prepared and allowed to get cool. The gel is then poured on the glass slide placed in a horizontal position. Then the gel is allowed to set for 30 minutes. Using the well puncher, wells are carefully cut in the agarose gel. The antigen wells are then filled with solution of antigen. Similarly, antiserum is also added in the wells designed for antiserum. Antiserum is basically added into the central well. And different antigens are placed in the wells which are surrounding the central well. Then the glass plate is incubated in a moist chamber overnight at 37 degrees Celsius. Now let's talk about the results and interpretation. The presence of white precipitant line indicates antigen-antibody interaction. And the absence of precipitant line suggests no interaction between antigen and antibody. The more productive way to analyze the result is in the following patterns. Pattern number one, a full identity that is a continuous line. This line of precipitation is in the form of an arc which represents serologic identity or you can say it shows the antigens are having common epitopes. Second pattern is known identity. This shows that the two lines cross each other completely. This kind of pattern demonstrates two different reactions and gives an indication of compared antigens being unrelated that is no common epitope. Third pattern is 
partial identity. Here you would see a continuous line having a spur at one of the end. Applications of Immunodiffusion It's used to determine relative concentrations of antibodies in serum. We can estimate serum transferrin and alpha ferroprotein with this technique. The technique is very powerful tool to compare properties of two different antigens. It's also used to determine the relative purity of an antigen preparation. The technique is employed for diagnosis of different diseases. We also use this method in serological surveys. This was all. Thanks for watching.